installing a uh, roof boot in a metal roof, um, the first thing you want to do is remove the old boot, as you can see I've done on this uh, vent here. Um, you want to remove the old boot that was in, that they had for the shingle roof, and then uh, the next step is to when you when you come across the roof with your metal, when you get to it and you're ready to cut out your hole, you can do you can measure for it in a couple different ways, but one of the easiest ways is to use a square and see where you want to stay back about a an inch or a half inch away from it. You don't want the metal tight on your boot. You want to stay back a little bit. So this is close enough where I can just use my speed square and just square across and basically draw lines on the last rib of the sheet that I've laid down here. And the reason I want to transfer to this is so I can just run my tape measure down the roof and get my measurement off of that. Measure up to this line and then to the next line which gives me the distance here. And then I'll measure across and I'll measure from the center of the rib, the center of the last rib, up to the boot. So that's how you measure the location of your boot. Now that we got our dimensions we'll come over here to the next piece of metal and we'll do the same thing we'll measure from center of the cover rib we'll measure across and we'll put our lines and our dimensions here and uh, then we'll measure from the bottom just like we did on the other piece and we'll get our dimensions here and then we'll roughly draw a circle here where you don't have to be really exact. We're just trying to get a hole for the pipe to fit through. The boot will cover quite a bit, so. And the easiest way I've found to uh, punch a hole in this metal is to take an old chisel, a somewhat sharp, but not one of your best chisels, because it'll ruin your chisel. It'll dull it pretty good, but just, um, just keep tapping around like that, light tape, cut the hole out, and once you get a good size of it cut, you can actually take your metal snips at that point and be very careful because this is really really sharp and you pick it up and finish cutting out the rest of it with your snip. And also trim out any excess maybe or try to round the hole out the best you can. Now that we have our uh, metal put on and the hole cut and everything, uh, the next step will be to install the roof boot. Now the metal company I deal with sends out these roof boots which I really like. They're just like a really flexible rubber boot with a, an aluminum band around the edge that, that uh, flexes to flex, bend over top of your ribs and really fit the contour of the roof. Um, first step is to cut as you can see in it, there's rings in it that you can cut out for different sizes of pipe. And you want to make sure that when you cut it out, it's really tight on your pipe. You don't want to cut loose and just have it um, loose on the pipe. So I usually just set them on top and figure out about which ring. It looks like this will be at the five and a quarter inch ring. So I'll take my metal shears. I might actually cut just a little bit above the five and a quarter. It's easier to cut out more if it's too tight. So I'll go between the five and a quarter and I believe it's probably the four and a half or five maybe. And we'll cut that out and we'll see how that fits. So as you see it fits down over and it's really tight so I might actually cut down to the next line. I don't want it too tight either. I'll go down to the five and a quarter. All right, 
that's better. So once we have the, the roof boot cut out, the next step will be to the back side of this, you see the, the surface that will actually hit the roof, we'll put a bead of caulking. And the caulking we use is a solar seal, it's an NPC solar seal number 900. The metal company, um, they sell this. It's actually color matched to all the roof color, so it's really nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about seeing an off-colored caulking. So, and we'll put a nice heavy bead on the bottom of this. You want enough on there so when you put your screws in, it'll squish out on the outside. Just put a nice heavy bead down through the middle of it. established we'll go ahead and set our boot down try to have it in place as you press that ring down around your ridge and all your ridges and stuff and try to get it just pretty much where you want it to be really and then we'll just take our screws and I like to have one close to the ridge here just make sure it's tucked in there nice and tight See, as I'm running the screws in, and starts squishing the caulk out the sides, which is good. Put the screws every inch and a half or so, all the way around it. All right, now it's all fastened down and everything. The last step I like to do is to go around with another bead of caulk all the way around the outside. Just make sure that it's sealed off. This will basically give it two layers of protection. If the first seal isn't quite tight, the second layer of caulking should get any kind of water that would escape through it. Just, just a double protection really. And since it's color coded, it doesn't look bad. Having, if you try to keep the bead nice and uniform, it'll, it'll look nice and neat here they also make this sealant in a clear which you could then use for pretty much any color roofing but uh, it is nice to have it color matched all right and then the final step here if you want and I like to wet your finger wet my finger just a little bit and you can actually tap it because this caulking is very very sticky and you cannot just run your run a bead run your finger down through to create a nice bead like you would with a normal interior caulking so if you wet your finger it'll keep it from sticking to your finger if you don't wet it, you will have a mess on your finger and you just end up dragging the caulking everywhere and it'll just look worse than if you'd have just left it alone. So yeah, just tap it all the way around, try to push it into the nice and snug against the roof and up against the boot. Wet your finger every so often to keep it from sticking. Alright, there you have it. All done and that should uh, last quite a while. So and it's still pretty flexible. You can still move your pipe around if you need to or whatever. But another thing is too, um, if you do happen to get your boot where it's not really tight around the pipe, you can put a bead of this caulking all the way around the top of it there. Um, and then this pipe too, it has a seam here where this is steel. Um, so once this pipe is in place, it still needs to be turned, I'm not sure exactly where, but once it's completely in place and I know that it's not going to move again, I'll probably come up here and at least put a little bead of caulk right where that seam is because it's hard for the boot to seal off properly around that seam which stands up. So it never hurts to, if you want to take an extra precaution, put a bead of caulk around the top there.